everyone, welcome to this episode of Eating Out. This is Felicia. And if you find this place very familiar, it's because we are here at Tanjung Paga. But not here for Korean food. We are here for something more special. And let me show you where we are eating today. Today we are here at Soy Candy and we are located at Tanjung Paga and they sell authentic Thai food. So Soy Candy actually serves Northern Thai cuisine and all the dishes here have a little twist to them which is specially curated by their chef, Miss Candy. And um, the atmosphere here is a little bit different. It's more playful, it's more funky unlike the other Korean restaurants down the street. And inside the restaurant, if you go in, you'll see the both sides actually filled with murals with a lot of graffiti and street art. So if you're here, why not just step in and you can also take a picture for your Instagram. Alright, so let's start. We'll start with the first dish which is actually an appetizer. So this is the crispy chicken thin. This is the Chiang Rai mince pork with herbs. This is the two noodles. We have here the khao soy. We have the garlic and chilli steamed squid. This is the salt crusted sea bass which goes with the noodles, rice noodles. And last but not least is our tang pun with prawns. Alright, so let's start with the crispy chicken skin. It's my dream, eh? My dream is to do ASMR. This is really very crispy. And I think it's because of the use of the chilli. There is this tinge of spiciness which numbs your tongue a little bit. But it's not that bad. It's not very, very spicy. And this makes a perfect dish to go with Chiang beer. So let's move on to the next dish. We have Chiang Rai mince pork with herbs. So let's try it with the um, cabbage, okay? I guess I'll spill it all, but I hope I don't. Let's go. Mm. So apparently, this dish is the hottest and the spiciest dish in the entire restaurant and I really understand why. Wow, it's a bit like mala. It has that ma taste. So I guess they probably have peppercorns inside, but the vegetable really helps in like neutralizing the heat. And it gets a really addictive after eating. So I'm in for one more. Mm. Mm, I like this, very nice. Okay, let's move on. This is the chili garlic um, steamed squid. Mm. It's not too chewy, so the bite is there and it's spicy yet very appetizing because of the fish sauce that they used to make from for this sauce right here. It's salty, it's a little bit sour, it's spicy. It's really everything with a kick that you will like in Thai food. So this is the sea bass. Mm. On top, if you take a good look at it, it's actually coated with sea salt. So um, if you have eaten this such fish before, you will know that you know you can't eat the skin of this. Ooh, wow! So the skin really comes out really nicely in one piece, so you can enjoy all the meat inside. Ooh, it's very soft, like you can see. Okay. Hmm. So there's no other seasoning to this fish, so you can really taste the natural sweetness of the fish meat itself. And with this dish, they also come with the sauces by the side you want to add them and the rice noodles. So this green sauce here, the green chilli sauce is a little bit more sourish whilst the red chilli sauce is a little bit sweeter. So let's move on to the main. Here we have the two-tone noodles which is the chef's special. And inside these noodles, you can see there's actually the pork balls. There's actually minced pork and also char siu and a fried wonton. Alright, so let's try it. I think we put it out for a little too long, so it's a bit dry, but the flavours are still there. The chashu is unlike our Chinese chashu, so it isn't that sweet, but it's very savoury. There's this umami taste that you can really taste. And the no two noodles, I guess they probably are different noodles, so I think the green one is jade noodles. Yeah, so let's try the pork balls as well. Peppery taste to it, and it's it has a very nice texture. It's a bit mm, not say hard, 
but it has this retention on your teeth as you bite to it. Yeah, very nice. So next one we have here the clay pot prawn vermicelli. We have three big jumbo prawns right here. Let's give it a good stir. Mm. Oh my god, this is super flavorful. What they have inside here, right? They have some um, ginger and they also have spring onions. So it really adds on to that very authentic Thai taste and a bit like herbal, herby herby kind of flavor to it. It's very sweet. It has that sweetness of the prawns sit right into the um, broth in, and right into the vermicelli as well. Every time when I go to Thailand, I will order this, which is the cow soy. Something like a curry noodle and it has a really huge chicken leg. Oh my god, look. Compare. They have this, the fried mee pok as well as the mee pok that they use in the noodles. So it's just for a little bit of a different texture. Mm. So like what I said, the fried mee pok really gives this whole curry a different, like brings it up to a different level because of its texture. And it's, a, it's spicy definitely, but it's a little bit on the sweeter side and it's very creamy. Look at how soft the, and tender the meat is. Like, do you catch that? Like, I just push it and then the entire piece just fell out. Let's try. Let's like dip it with curry. Order the khao soy, you never go wrong. Super nice. We'll move on to a really special dish, which is our last dish which is the raw prawns. So this is not on the menu and it is because Chef Candy has very, is very particular about her ingredients. So whenever she has fresh ingredients, especially when it comes to seafood, she will write it on her little black board there. So every time when you come to Soy Candy, there's this black board telling you about you know the specials of the day or the week. So this is a special that we have today. And um, the prawns, as you can see, is cut in the middle and spread it out very thinly and it's topped with her own um, chili sauce. Mm. For raw dishes like this, freshness is really of utmost importance. And here you can really taste that the prawn is super fresh. It has, it is not slimy like you noodles, know, like left overnight prawns. This has this very nice crunchy texture. And together with the garlic, it's a bit pungent. It's a bit strong, but it matches very well. It complements very well with that sweetness of the prawns itself. So if you like something with a stronger flavour, oh, you can try ordering this um, raw prawns if it's on the menu because it's really very refreshing. And it's a good start to your meal here at Soy Candy as well. Yep. Alright, so we are done having our meal at Soy Candy. And once again, I got food to go. So if you are looking for a place to spend time with your family over traditional Thai fairs, this is a place that I would highly recommend because it's super cute, super fun and the atmosphere is super nice to be in. So thank you for joining us for this episode of Eating Out and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>